Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about derivative of parametric equations. Before we're going to solve the derivative of a parametric equation, let's discuss first what is a parametric equation. When we say parametric equation, it is a way of mapping multiple variables in one variable. So instead of x and y coordinates, we use t coordinates. To further understand what is a parametric equation, let's study this parametric form. For example, y is equal to x squared. This is a Cartesian equation with coordinates of x and y. Assuming that x is equal to t, then y is equal to t squared. We have now the coordinates of t and t squared. This conversion to parametric form is called parameterization, which provides great efficiency when differentiating and integrating curves. Okay, let's have some examples on how we're going to solve the derivative of parametric equation. In calculus, a parametric derivative is a derivative of a dependent variable with respect to another dependent variable that is taken when both variables depend on an independent third variable, usually thought of as time. That is, when the dependent variables are x and y and are given by parametric equations in t. For example, x is equal to 3 plus t squared and y is equal to 2 t squared minus 4 t fourth. So first we're going to get the derivative of x with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of 3 plus t squared? As we all know that, the derivative of a constant is 0. So, 3 is 0. And what is the derivative of t squared? Okay, we can use the power rule. So, power times the base raised to the power minus 1. So, the derivative of t squared is 2t. Next, we're going to get the derivative of y with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of 2t squared? Alright, this is 2 times 2t. And what is the derivative of 4t fourth? Yes, this is 4 times 4t third. Then, let's simplify. 2 times 2t, this is equal to 4t. 4 times 4t third, this is equal to 16t third. Next, we're going to get the derivative of the function. Okay, for the derivative of y, this is equal to dy dt divided by the derivative of x which is dx over dt. So, we get a while ago the derivative of y with respect to t, which is 4t minus 16t third over the derivative of x, which is equal to 2t. Then, let's simplify. 4t divided by 2t, this is equal to 2. 16t cubed divided by 2t, this is equal to 8t squared. So, this is our first derivative of the function. Another example, x is equal to 5 plus t cubed, and y is equal to 3t fourth minus 5t cubed. So, we're going to find the derivative of x with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of 5 plus t cubed? Alright, the derivative of 5 is 0, and the derivative of t cubed is 3t squared. 
Next, we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of 3? t fourth. Alright, this is equal to 3 times 4 t cubed minus. What is the derivative of 5 t cubed? Yes, this is equal to 5 times 3 t squared. Then, let's simplify. 3 times 4 t cubed, this is equal to 12 t cubed. Minus 5 times t squared, this is equal to 15 t squared. So, we have now the derivative of x with respect to t, which is 3 t squared. And the derivative of y with respect to t, which is 12 t cubed minus 15 t squared. Now, let's find the derivative of the function. So, the derivative of y, dy dt, divided by the derivative of x, which is dx over dt. So, as we get a while ago, the derivative of y, which is equal to 12 t cubed minus 15 t squared, divided by the derivative of x with respect to t, which is 3 t squared. Okay, then, let's simplify. So, 12 t cubed divided by 3 t squared, this is equal to 4 t. 15 t squared divided by 3 t squared, this is equal to 5. So, 4 t minus 5. This is our first derivative. Let's write some trigonometric functions. For example, x is equal to 3 sine t and y is equal to 9 cosine t. So we're going to get the derivative of x with respect to t. So what is the derivative of sine? Please refer to these trigonometric functions and its derivative chart. Alright, the derivative of sine is cosine. So the derivative of 3 sine t is 3 cosine t. Next, we're going to get the derivative of y with respect to t. So, what is the derivative of cosine? Again, please refer to the trigonometric function and its derivative chart. Yes, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So, the derivative of 9 cosine t is 9 times negative sine t. Then, let's simplify. 9 times negative sine t is equal to negative 9 sine t. Next, we're going to get the derivative of the function. So, the derivative of y is dy over dt and the derivative of x is dx over dt. The derivative of y is negative 9 sine t and the derivative of x is 3 cos sine t. Let's simplify. Negative 9 divided by 3 is equal to negative 3. Sine divided by cosine. Please refer to the trigonometric identities. So, sine divided by cosine is equal to tangent. This is our first derivative. Negative 3 tangent t. Another example. x is equal to 4 second theta and y is equal to 16 tangent theta. We're going to get the derivative of x with respect to theta. So, what is the derivative of second theta? Kindly refer to these trigonometric functions and its derivative chart. Alright, the derivative of second theta is second theta tangent theta. So, the derivative of 4 second theta is 4 times second theta tangent theta. Next, we're going to get the derivative of y with respect to theta. So, what is the derivative of tangent theta? Again, refer to the trigonometric functions and its derivatives. Alright, the derivative of tangent theta is second squared theta. So, the derivative of 16 tangent theta is 16 second squared theta. Next is we're going to find the derivative of the function. So, the derivative of y is dy over 
d theta and the derivative of x is dx over d theta. So the derivative of y is 16 seconds squared theta and the derivative of x is 4 times second theta tangent theta. Then let's simplify. 16 seconds squared theta divided by 4 second theta is equal to 4 second theta over tangent theta. Okay, let's further simplify. 4 times second theta times 1 over tangent theta. Second theta, this is equal to 1 over cosine theta and 1 over tangent theta, this is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. So we're going to cancel cosine theta. Okay, the remaining items are 4 times 1 over sine theta. 1 over sine theta, this is equal to cosecant theta. Therefore, the first derivative of the function is 4 cosecant theta. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With this, life is like math. If it goes too easy, something is wrong. Thank you so much for watching. 